I was today years old when I found out that Ford designed cars to run on alcohol so people could have true energy independence and create their own fuel at home. But then prohibition prohibited the production of ethanol and then everyone turned to the gas. It, he was at like a, a fighting with standard oil. Holy I don't care anymore. I'm not. I just don't care anymore because everything's a fucking lie. Well, I guess apparently you don't care if what you believe is true or not, because what you said was basically wrong. But let me let's break this down a little bit. So it is true that the Ford Motor Company came out with a an ethanol powered vehicle, the V8. It was, and this was, you know, right around the time of Prohibition. Uh, they did it specifically because, um, well, first of all, there's a lot of experimenting going on. This is the early days of motor, vehicle, of motor vehicles. There were still elect electric vehicles. Early, early on, there was even steam-powered cars and, of course, the gasoline internal combustion engine and other fuel sources that were, people were experimenting with. It was the early days, right? So, yeah, they made a, an uh, experimental uh, ethanol-based vehicle, and they did it because farmers who grow a lot of crops could make their own ethanol on site and use that to power their vehicles. So that would be very, especially, you know, back in the day before there was a, you know, a, a good, an infrastructure of gas stations everywhere. If you're on a remote farm somewhere, being able to make your own fuel for your own vehicles is really convenient. So they did it. Ironically, the vehicle became popular among bootleggers because it was fast and it uh, had a lot of carrying capacity for their product. So that was like another association with alcohol, uh, you know, be because of that. All right. But um, did prohibition ban the creation of ethanol? No, it didn't. The 18th Amendment banned the use of, of alcohol for consumption, right? It was about alcoholic drinks. You couldn't make alcohol that was intended to be consumed by people. It does not talk about ethanol for other purposes. And then when the Volstead Act was passed, which was basically the law enforcing the uh, prohibition, it specifically says... It's, you know, the, the, you know we're, this is, we're banning alcohol for consumption, intoxicating beverages, which is the, the actual term that they used, right? It was a ban on intoxicating beverages. And they said, we're going to regulate the production of alcohol so that it can be used for dyes and industry and fuel. They specifically said, we're supporting the use of alcohol for fuel, the exact opposite of what this myth claims to be true. So it's just, it's simply not true. The reason why ethanol didn't take off as a preferred fuel for automobiles is a couple of reasons. One is ethanol has 30% less energy density than gasoline. Gasoline is just a really energy dense fluid. And so you get more bang for the buck, right? You get more miles per gallon out of gasoline than you do out of ethanol. But secondly, let's say, for example, we tried to uh, run every car that's on the roads today on ethanol. There literally is not enough cropland in the world to meet the demand for ethanol that would create. We simply could not create enough ethanol to run a fleet. Uh, could not happen. You know, we need to pull gasoline out of the ground in order to have enough gasoline to power all of the combustion, internal combustion engine vehicles. Um, so biofuels, never really going to be a significant player in terms of re replacing gasoline. We simply don't have the farmland for it. We do not have the cropland for it. Uh, maybe some niche applications, sure, absolutely. Uh, but we're better off going to battery electric vehicles. They're the most energy efficient. Uh, and, you know, maybe hydrogen. Hydrogen's never going to be as efficient as battery, battery electric vehicles, BEVs. But, again, there may be a niche for hydrogen. Biofuels, a niche at best. 
Uh, but no, this was not due to prohibition. No, this was not any kind of conspiracy. No, this had nothing to do with the oil industry, you know, blocking a competitor. It just didn't win out technologically. It just wasn't practical in the same way that gasoline was. And that's why we're not all driving ethanol vehicles today.